Hey everybody, thanks for coming back and watching another video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about web design. So obviously in my main role at my job, I am a front end developer. That means I take the designs that the designers at our company put together, I translate that into code, I make sure it all works, I make sure the logic works, and then we put it out there for our clients and everybody's happy. So at a really high level, that's what I do. Obviously I now feel really lucky at my current job. Obviously we have a design team who are in charge of branding. They're in charge of coming up with the layouts of websites and apps. They're in charge of everything. They kind of, they give us code and they give us designs and we take it from there on the front end. Um, but obviously the more that I've been there and the more I've kind of been looking at it and I've been learning about it from the design team, the more I realize in myself how important it is as a developer to also have an eye or at least an understanding of web design. So in a completely unrelated way, I was actually in the UK during Christmas and I got this book as a Christmas present. And the first thing I did when I got it was going through and I just flicked through all the pages and I just put sticky tabs on where I found like cool designs and stuff that I saw in myself as a front end developer. I was like, wow, I really wanna try and recreate this. Like that's a really cool design to me. How can I as a front end developer using just HTML and CSS and maybe a bit of JavaScript, build that, like build that thing I found in this book. So for me, that was a really great way to sort of jump into this world of better understanding what web design is. I'll leave a link for the book down below in the description if you wanna go and find it, um, buy it. I really recommend it. It's really great fun to sort of flick through and get some good inspiration from. But if you don't wanna buy the book, there's also a load of free information out there online that you can use to your advantage to get a bit of a better understanding about modern web design, uh, modern user experience design, modern user interface design. So I've also linked those down below. So again, I know this was a quick video, um, it didn't really dive into depth too much about how to learn web design, but I think the best thing to do is just find things that you like, like find your favorite website. And instead of looking at it from a developer point of view, like how did the code get built? You know, where does the logic come into this? I think take a step back and look at the website and look at it just from break it down into the header component, maybe into the sidebar into the main container, look at the colors that are being used on the website and kind of start asking yourself, why did they pick that shade of blue instead of putting green there? Why is that button bigger than that button there? And start asking yourself those questions of sort of like, why did they do that and what does that make you feel? How does that make you as a user look at the website? And I think once you start looking at websites from that viewpoint, instead of how did they put this together? What's the code base? What does that function do there? The, once you get a bit more of that bigger picture of how websites are put together, it'll make your experience as a developer a lot easier. Because when you come to build a project, for example, say you're going for your first interview and they've given you a, an interview task, well then you can you know go and build the interview task, but you can also think, well, how can I make this look really good as well? How can I make the person that will be using this product, make them intuitively click on that first button to start the site or to start the application? So even if you haven't formally learned web design, I think it's a really important thing to take into consideration. As I said, I'm still learning it myself through books, through my work, you know, I'm still getting fed that information every day of like, why is this important? Why did we design that button like that? Why is this input field different size to that one? So it's a really cool area in itself to get into. And I think learning it as a front end developer or as a web developer in general, even if you do back end, to better understand why users interact with websites. So if you have any suggestions for me about better resources, um, where I can find some really cool ideas for web design, then please leave them in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, then please go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It'll help me uh, you know, get a bit of a better idea of how these videos are doing. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you around next time.